In this video, we'll tell you everything you need to know how to plan a trip to Gulmarg, including all the activities you can do, where to stay, and how to plan a trip that fits your budget. Welcome to our channel, Escaping the Mundane. Here, we give you the best travel tips and guides how to plan and take you to beautiful places all across India and the globe. the globe. Gulmarg is located in the northernmost state of India, Jammu and Kashmir. In order to reach to Gulmarg, you can reach the nearest airport which is at Srinagar and then take a taxi or a car to and drive to Gulmarg. Alternatively, you can take a train to Jammu Tawi railway station and from there you can take a taxi or a car to Gulmarg. There are a number of activities that you can do in Gulmarg. I start with skiing and snowboarding. So with over 20 ski rides, it can be a huge adventure awaiting for you. Golfing. Gulmarg has the highest golf course in the world. Uh, though we couldn't do it during the winter times as it was closed, but if you are visiting in summer, you can you can really try out golfing in that beautiful golf course surrounded by mountains. Gondola ride. This is the highlight of Gulmarg. You can take a gondola to the top of the Afarwat peak and take a breathtaking view of the Afarwat mountain range. Also, you can try out loads of activities there like snow biking, sledging and skiing of course. We did try out snow biking in the mountains and it was um, an amazing experience. There are a range of accommodation on Gulbarg, but it is more costlier than other parts of Kashmir. So, if you are looking for a budget-friendly option, I would suggest you stay at Tanmarg, which is a few kilometers away for Gulmarg. But if you really want to enjoy the beauty of Gulmarg and the flowers and the snow, then you should stay near the gondola. And there are a range of beautiful resorts there, ranging from the cheaper ones to very expensive ones. We stayed at the Grand Mumtaz Resort, which was a four-star resort and it was pretty beautiful. Uh, the most expensive option that you can get in Gulmarg and it's really known for its beauty is the Khyber Himalayan Resort. I can insert a link uh, with all the details. Uh, here you can see what are the prices available as of today. All the options that I'm talking about right now are all near to the gondola, approximately two to five minutes walk. There is another option called the Hotel Hilltop and you can see the prices on the screen, right? If you're staying near the gondola, you can of course walk to the gondola yourself without having to take, in, take any transportation. However, we did visit in winter and the roads were very slippery due to ice. So we took a cab because we had very old parents with us. It cost us approximately 300 rupees plus tips just to go for from the hotel to the gondola. Gondola tickets are available online. I will link the description down below where you can go and buy gondola tickets. Uh, there are three slots that you can choose from. If you are going to phase two uh, from phase one, then do try to choose an earlier slot because uh, you have to come back by the time gondola closes. Phase one is available for everyone to reach. Phase two is more expensive and it is on top of the Afarwat peak. However, we would recommend if someone is old and have breathing issues or heart issues not to go there as the air is very thin and us being young and healthy as well, we experienced a little bit of breathing difficulty. However, we had a really good time there. All the adventure activities that are there are only available in phase one. In phase two, you can just go play in the snow and take some breathtaking beautiful pictures. One tip here, you do want to carry some medicines with you in case you experience any kind of mountain sickness, vomiting, nausea. But I would suggest you buy all your medicines before reaching Gulmarg because in Gulmarg there is only one small medicine shop and they didn't have too many medicines to begin with. Before riding the gondola, you can rent some snow boots and coats from Gulmarg before going to the gondola. Uh, it cost approximately 200 rupees for a pair of boots or 200 rupees for a coat and you have to keep your own boat as a deposit there. Another tip, you can carry some chewing gums with you. It will really help you deal with the high altitude in phase 2. In phase 1, we did try out snow biking and there are two options when you are taking snow biking. The, sh the shorter path costs you about 1500 per person and there is a longer route uh, which costs you 2000 per person. The longer route will also allow you to drive the bike yourself. I would suggest you take the longer route uh, so that it's more fun. Please note all of the activities here actually exclusive of tips. So they will ask you for tips and they will also help you take a lot of pictures uh, on the top of the mountain. 
we did take a guide to our ride to the gondola that was because we had older parents with us the guide is of course optional but it will help you to navigate the the all the queues and all the different phases and places uh, you need to walk through the guide did advise us to reach earlier than our slot our slot was at 11 am but we reached by 10 it took us approximately 20 to 25 minutes go up to the gondola i would suggest you to reach earlier than your slot because the queue to enter the gondola can be pretty long we paid the guide approximately 1200 rupees which was including tips for the whole day on the first day of reaching gulmarg we did take a atv ride and visited the sightseeing places in gulmarg and it cost us around 2000 rupees per person uh, they will also let you ride the atv ride to some extent you can also take a car to the same sightseeing spot if you are not comfortable with the atv ride and it will cost you approximately 3000 rupees per car and while you are going around sightseeing there is a place called strawberry valley where you can sit for some time and enjoy some delicious maggi and kawa cha they will take you to several different points like a temple uh, then a children's park we actually enjoyed some really good time there and it's free of course and also they will show you some points where mission kashmir was shot and you can definitely take pictures all around it was getting too late for us so we didn't Oh, also they did show us where Jab Tak Hai Jaan was shot as well. You you have two options when it comes to food. Of course, you can eat at the hotel that you are staying, uh, but also there are smaller restaurants in the main town area of Gulmarg which you can try. We did opt for our hotel food. However, it was really costly. Uh, there was a buffet option and an a la carte option. The buffet costs approximately one thousand rupees per person, but the a la carte was really costly. Like even for a plate of rice, it was around six hundred rupees. Here you can see we, there are some of the options that. you can try in gulmarg we had a lovely stay at grand mumtaz the rooms were cozy it was wooden and they had both central heating and in room small heaters as well uh, the restaurant was great we were served kawa tea when when we were checking in there is also a small garden where you can take a walk and also a small shop where you can buy some souvenirs and some clothes if you need it oh yes and one more thing there is a spa as well sukho thai spa which you can try out if you are interested december to february is the peak season in gulmarg and in kashmir in general however we traveled earlier in december which is between 4 to 15 december and we avoided the rush in the last two weeks of december we had rented a car from shrinagar for our whole trip and we took the same car to gulmarg as well and we also came back from gulmarg to shrinagar in the same car if you want to contact the same person for your own trip we will link the number down in the description below we stayed for two days in gulmarg and unfortunately when though we didn't want it we had to come back but gulmarg is a paradise for even during winter and even during spring because gulmarg is a valley of flowers and it gets full of flowers so you will not regret visiting gulmarg at any time of the year if you are enjoying this video please like this video and comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more and more of these videos in future and until then bye bye see you guys next time